Okay, we're back. I, uh... Which one's which? Doesn't matter. Oh wait, what is an auto save? Oh, I don't know. Um, I haven't done grinding between episode episodes streams. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna level up and grind a bit and stuff. Um, in the tomb, so it's fine. One thing I did forget when I fought the demon wall at the end of the last stream was um, we've seen this. Uh, that I could have switched in my other team to do another quickening chain. In fact, what you can do is you can pull off several quickening chains by bringing in one person at a time who has uh, missed charges. And they can kick off the chain. It does mean you then have to use the missed charge command to c carry it on. But. So I might have another go at the Demon Wall. Maybe. I've got to fight another Demon Wall once I go through those doors anyway, that one's not avoidable. Um. Fight or run? We better decide fast. How about some of this? Please. Let's just see what I can with this. some of this. Please. Here goes. I shuffled them but I didn't mean to, but it's fine, I still ended up with one. This one. Yeah. I mean, let's see how much that's done. And then Inferno. Okay, that's done like a third. So if I now. this and start another chain let's see what we can do I must endure As long as I can get at least three hits at level one, I'm, I think that gets me for um, concurrence for Inferno, so that's the bare minimum I'm after. This is going fairly well. Charge and I said I wouldn't have had time to then fire off quickening though. And oh, that's it. Seven hits, not bad. Cataclysm. Haven't had that one before in this series of streams. That's another one checked off the list. There's an achievement for doing one of every concurrence, or at least one of. Oh, we're, we're so good here. We've got this. And 
if I start with Fulminating Darkness, he'll be able to use it twice. Come on, give me a mischarge. Oh, I had it. Damn it. Ah, I'm an idiot. That's fine, it's it's like almost dead at this point. So I've got my standard part of the format. I mean, I'm not worried now, I can just let them finish it off. Can 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 we like have blind taken off please? There we go. Quickening chains. Bane of any demon. And it is the purpose of killing that one is in order to try and get the demon's bane. Nice dagger flips there, Vaughn. But that one's optional. You don't have to fight that one. You can just run away. The next one isn't optional. So I'm probably going to have to recharge my mist gauges as a backup plan. But anyway... Uh... Oh, do I have to kill the other demon wall as well first? I think I might. Right, let's go and heal up. And save. Have they removed Telega? Or did it just not use it? Because it didn't get a chance to. Because, um. It's supposed to use Telega to banish party members to the X Zone. Maybe they've removed it in this version. Or made it less likely to use it, or I don't know. Or maybe only the second one uses it. Who knows? Anyway, let's fight the second demon wall. Which would be much less dangerous, so I can take it a bit easier. It's dark. The wall comes, we must be quick. Together we can bring it down. As you can see, this bridge is much longer. Touch the braze, yeah. Please be one that works. Fire goes out, the demon wall stops. Good. Let's just get straight in there with a beginning change, do a ton of damage to it. Some of this. They're going to love this. One. 
Heads up. I never miss. Yeah, I kind of... I don't know what to make of that. It's never really explained what quickenings are. It's just like, here, you have weird super magic attacks. Just because you bought a license for it. My regards. I never miss. Wow, Bolfear. Wow, just piling them on. I never miss. Okay, that's three level two quickenings. <laughs> this one just keeps going, this is great. That's probably gonna be the last one to manage though. Unless it's generous enough to give Vine a mischarge or something. Or well, any of them. But Vine's not had a go in a while. I never miss. Ah, oh, Bolthir got this charge. Bolthir practically carried that quickening chain. Torrent! So I've had Inferno, Cataclysm, and Torrent so far. There are, what, eight of them? Luminescence and Black Hole are the two most difficult. Oh my god, I one shot it. <laughs> I just one shot it with a quick enough chat, that's amazing. That was phenomenal. See, quickening chains aren't super overpowered because the element of randomness means you can't rely on them. But when you get a good chain, it just blows away a lot of things. Like, none of the super bosses, none of the really tough enemies are going to be taken down by quickening chains. But you can do a ton of damage. Uh, so, now so, yeah, the, um, the reason I wanted the fire to go out on these, or the one I did hit, because. I only got to use the one. Now, if the fire goes out, the demon wall stops. If the fire turns blue, it speeds up, which obviously you don't want. But it was moot anyway because I one shot it with the green chain. <laughs> Absolute madness. Okay, so now can I use this? There we go. I mean, let's be honest, the amount by which that rose up, we could realistically just have dropped off the ledge here and then climbed back up. I mean, I could probably have climbed back up that for the amount it dropped by. I mean, let's have a look. Yeah, probably. Not easily, but I could. Got a little bit of a cut under my fingernail. Where's the treasure at? Is this just... how far does this go? Oh right, it's the... Uh, yeah. So this is all a big hidden area around here. And I'll just loop around. Hello. 
Mal warte dann was. Are you gonna shoot it, poor thing? Or Vosla, you can try and help out with telekinesis if you can't reach these guys. Just a thought. Ah yes, the Tallows. Flans by any other name. Ah yes, they like to inflict oil. Now what oil does is... Triple? I think fire damage. So I could... I should probably handkerchief that. But it's fossil, so I don't really care. The demon's pain. There are going to be some back and forth here because I want to be one demon's pain. What are the odds on it? Where is it? Five, five. Changed a bit then because it's a holy mode originally. 50 50. How am I on license points? Okay, Vaughn. As it's there. Spellbound will fear. Has spellbound. Panillo. Has spellbound. Fran. Has spellbound. Bosch. Does not have spellbound. Looks of it. Where is it? Wow, the tour is all of the really valuable stuffs over here. Genji armor. Seriously, all the way down there? Yeesh. So we're just waiting for Bosch to get in then. Okay, what else is useful? Embroidered tippet, yes please. Golden amulet and embroidered tippet are like fairly priority. Lead. Anything good? Shades of black. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, 
More HP for Pinello. Probably a good plan. A uh, golden amulet. Where's Embroidered Tippet? Oh, she's already got it. That's fine then. In which case, let's go with that. And then both there. Physical attack damage. Sounds good to me. Oh, how the heck do I get to that? Do the espers appear here or something? Hmm. Into files of green <laughs> Hello, trap I can see down there. Okay, so we need to go three screens away for the chest to come back. And did you notice there's actually a chest as well? Not just uh... Um... An urn. Okay, so one screen. I'm going to have to go out through the waystone, aren't I? To get three screens away. Because these screens are the same as the, the main route through the tomb. They're just different parts of the same area. But I definitely want at least one Demon's Bane. Of course, this is where I find out they've changed it so that um, the chest doesn't come back. Let's heal while I'm here. Of course, the other thing I'm going to do is actually get the license for the Demon's Bane. Probably should have thought about that bit. Who's even going to use it? Who even can use it? I mean, it's going to be swords, right? So, yeah, Bash is going to be the only one who can actually use it. Well, I need to switch in my secondary team anyway. They're getting low on levels. They're behind. It's the word I'm after. So, actually. Now, can Ash use decoy? She does not have a license for it. Can she get the license for it? Oh no, she can, it just wouldn't let me target an enemy with it. I just need to change the gambit. Uh, so, ally, party leader, a decoy. It's the same as Pinello's, except for the self silence thing. And also that. Works for me. Um, Bosch, I want to be basically the same as Vaughn.
But I bet he doesn't have Libra, does he? Ah, uh, he does, he does. Interesting. He doesn't have steel though, right? No. Does Fran have steel? She does. So maybe we should make Fran the party leader. That's an interesting dynamic. I should completely retool Fran actually, I don't need her as the healer now. back up. I mean she's got basic black magic so I mean Do anything that's thunder weak, I guess I can do that. Uh, does she have charge? No. Let's leave it at that for the moment. So then Bosch is going to be more like both there. I guess. This is an interesting dynamic, huh? really done front as the leader for. And also on his change. In case it's not clear, the reason I'm making Fran the leader is because she's the one with steel. And the steel setup gambit, uh, the steel gambit setup combination thing, whatever you want to call it, is that the party leader has it, which means they initiate combat by stealing, which then creates a party leader's target if they are the party leader, and the others are set to attack the party leader's target. So that's why Fran is the leader, because she's the one who's been stealing. But we're retooling it for the decoy to be on um, Bash as the tank, obviously is
a change compared to the other team. Just not back. Boo. No demon spain for me, I guess. That's extremely disappointing. That was the whole reason I bothered with the horn team at all, other than to brag. Apparently, DICE is now selling regen, assuming they haven't changed it. After having beaten the Demon War. The non-optional one, to be clear. Let's have a look. If you're selling it, I want it. No, apparently not. Fifteen hundred, fifty thousand, another three thousand to get that. Hmm, maybe. Right, let's make progress then. Since it didn't want to give me a demon's bane.
something of interest here, presumably. No. Okay. Big place. Incredible. Where are both here in front? Oh, they're over there. It wounds me to look on as they pillage so solemn a place. Yet without help, you and I are as nothing. Is this not so? <sighs> he thinks ever and always on his own profit. Assure him of it, and he shall remain true to our cause. I do not share your majesty's trust. We will continue this later. Now we should concern ourselves with finding the Dawn Shard. It sleeps in waiting, somewhere deep within. How can you be certain? I can hear its call. It's going, Yoo-hoo! Now that gate crystal in the middle, uh, gate crystal warp, uh, waystone, that's the word, will take me back to the entrance. So I'm not going to use it. The main purpose for it really is so that you can get back past the first demon wall if you didn't kill it. Um, so this place isn't too complex. It's really only this many rooms. Uh, it's nothing compared to the still shrine of Miriam where we'll be going later. So let's pick a side and head down. So many seekers. Oh, come on. There's a trap. Good. It still counts if it's not on the party leader. Wasn't 100% sure about that, so that's good to know. Hello, treasure. Vanish. Awesome. Do love for some free spells. And in here we're gonna see why I want to the demon's vein. Don't step on it, Vosla. Don't Ash! Are you crazy? Haste go mode. That's pretty cool. So we've got these things, which are weird, let's be honest. But then you can also hear we've got skellies. And that's why I wanted the Demon's Bane, because it's good against undead enemies, I believe. But no, game couldn't give me that. That would have been too helpful. I mean, they're not terribly dangerous, so it doesn't matter that much, but it would have been nice. What is the treasure wise in these side rooms?
Ага, ага. Окей. Три урна, которые я probably won't have too much trouble finding on each side. As opposed to a liquid stone, presumably. Or a water stone, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. um, this is where I came in. Well done, me. I got turned around. This way. This, thank you. The device remains asleep. That's just sitting there. That's interesting. The fact they're using a shell and I'm still coming in here with my physical attacks and wrecking them. See, that one's smart, that one uses protect. Here's the three treasures I can't really miss. All of them are pittance of gill. Great, awesome, that worked. Bosch isn't using his MP for anything, so it's fine for him to have Infuse, which just turns his MP into health for whoever he uses it on. I hear you clattering over there. Be patient, your time will come. And... There we go. Yeah, I don't really care what level boss there is. Other than, you know, just if it's higher, it's better. Come on, Ash. Keep up.
Crossword, uh, get over here. So you might be wondering what the point of that was. Like, it's just brought me back onto an area that's just connected to where I was before. Seems a bit silly. And, uh... To be honest... I'm not sure either. Maybe I have to do the north one first. Not interested in you guys right now. It's just entirely symmetrical to that one. Well, not entirely. There's some differences, but basically it's the same. And this side has zombies, though. A strip of foul flesh. Uh. It's kind of weird, but also kind of awesome how the zombies cry out when they die. But you don't expect zombies to do anything other than... Uh... The device remains asleep. Mimic, of course. But then it's not actually treasure, is it? So it still doesn't count. I mean, next you'll be saying a safe, just looking hurt someone. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll come to that later. The prince's kiss. I just got a prince's kiss from a zombie. I just got a kiss from a zombie. That's, um... Yeah, with no context. I mean, even with context, that's kind of weird. Wow, even more less skill. What's wrong with the zombies is you can't see them coming because they emerge from the floor. They aren't there to start with. Not that it matters because they're really no threat at all. Can't reach you. I'll just attack this one, Fran. Come on. Okay, what have I missed? I mean, I looked at the, uh, I looked around in the room with the waystone and nothing else. Okay. Okay. Let's sort this out. The idea of stealing a strip of foul flesh, you just sort of walk up to it and go, peel. It's a lovely image. It's on the one wall I didn't look at. it is. Hello zombie mages. That were really no threat at all.
Okay, now I can go back to the center and do the south one again. I'm going to say which is the quicker route. And it's going to be in the middle, isn't it? Uh, no, actually, it's definitely quicker to get there via the downstairs one. Not interested. How furry the wings are. The fluffy bats. the only place it can appear, this one. Wait. Okay. There's an extra passageway. Of course there is. Try this again. So this is lowered halfway, which means you can then get past it into there. Obviously, it lowers all the way. So I'm gonna have to go back to the north one to get into the thing and see what treasure lies within. I actually, don't think it matters. There's no actual treasure in there. Just leaves the next area. Oh, hello, luchas. all oily, but it doesn't matter. Um, right, so now, actually it does matter, because uh, when I go through here, how immediately Heal now. Um, where am I going? I can just. I was, I was gonna. I was about to trek back through this place. I'm like, no, there's a waste stone. Because I'm coming up to the boss, and I don't know how far into the room I can safely go before healing. So it's like, why bother? Just go and heal like a sensible person. Really, really nice if I could use water. But, uh, don't think that's going to be a thing.
I'm definitely going to need gambits for uh, I've got an Aquara moat, which is pretty cool. Also, the fact that the books turn into cast water means that it did used to just be called water and not aqua. Um, what do I want here? There's uh, a handkerchief. Because I don't want to be afflicted with oil in this fight. Just wasn't it? Should have waited. Oh well, it's fine, I've got plenty of handkerchiefs. Right then. Probably go and sell stuff to dice as well. But meh. I've already got two bosses coming up. This one and another one to follow. Feels the need to tell you it's an ancient door every time. It's like, no, this one, this one door, this one door is brand new. Just put in last week. Oh, look at the mist. You can actually see how much there is. Which is great because it means my MP charges up very quickly. Fog? Underground? It's not fog, not it's fog. Mist. mist. You can see the mist with your eyes? Where it is thick enough, you may. The nether runs deep in this place. Watch out for guests. So, is the mist dangerous? Yes, but it is also an aid. A dense mist allows the working of powerful magics. I'll keep that in mind. Can't count on Vaughn to keep track of these things. That's for sure. Zing! See, so yeah, a place with a dense mist, MP charges up much faster. Look how fast Ash's MP is going up. Seven, eight, nine. It's great. Um, I ran straight past the stairs, didn't I? Because I was too busy looking at Ash's MP. I was too busy looking at Ash's MP. Blood sword. Probably need a license for that. And it would be a downgrade. I mean, the, the inflicting sap is nice, but overall it would be a downgrade. There's only two points of damage lower. Um, so maybe it wouldn't be a downgrade, like on balance, but yeah. Let's look at licenses. We've got plenty of LP. 
Vaughn can almost afford another quickening. Three LP short. That's expensive just to get at that. Wow. is the first to have all three quickenings. Let's also get that, because powering him up is great. That's probably not a bad idea, because then he can use a few as more. Let's do that, because I've got something to equip from it. Spread out with Pinellos, two sides. Like if only I could get regen, there it is. Esper. I wonder if they made Espers any more useful, because they were so rubbish in the original. Yoink. And now Frank can stay back. Fran is a ranged attacker. This is looking pretty easy so far. Greater barrier, because he's under half health. Still can't hear go for Roger. Which is exactly the same animation as Inferno, you will notice. All the concurrences share the animations with those. So Torrent has the same animation as Waterjer. Or Aquaja, probably now. And so on. Cataclysm is a quake jet, I think. Not that the concurrences are elemental, they're just names. Black hole matches dark jet, you know. Oh, 
I'm just going to go ahead and disable the gambits for um, handkerchiefs now, because it just hasn't come up. In vain glory they arose, shouting challenges at the gods, but prevail they did not. Their doom it was to walk the mist until time's end. A legend of the Nemo. My family tells a story of the Dynast King and an Esper. The story goes that in his youth, the Dynast King defeated a mighty Gigas, for which the gods took heed of him. Thereafter, it was ever bound to him in thraldom. Well, there you go. So, all this time it's been here guarding the Dynast King's treasure? Not so. The Esper is the Dynast King's treasure. That's your treasure? In this Esper we now command rests a power whose worth is beyond any. <laughs> uh, is that so? Really? Call me old fashioned, but I was hoping for a treasure whose worth we could measure. You know, one that I'll actually use, ever. Actually, strictly speaking, the Lias is the only Esper you ever have to use in the game. Not just the one Esper you have to summon at one point. Shades of Black. Well, there we go. And an elixir. The second board license has been added. Nice. But I'm going to go for that first. Where's Belias on here? Second time. Man, now I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter who I give these to because I'm not going to use them. Hello, Jade. I'm simply not going to use the experts, so it doesn't matter who I give them to, really. The way I did it before was I assigned them in a cycle. So I gave Belias to Varn. And then the next one to someone else, and the next one to someone else. I divvied them up because each one gave you more mist charges. But getting the quickening is giving the mist charges, so I'm not worried about that now. Um, and then Zodiac went to Vaughn because Belias was so. Well, I mean, they're all rubbish, but Belias was like the most rubbish at that point, so Zodiac went to him to make up for it. Um, this time around, I really don't care who I give the espers to because they're worthless. They're not very useful at all, unless this game has made them better. Let's find out if this version of the game has made them better. Esper, Final Fantasy Is there any difference at all?
Well, this isn't saying anything different. So, they're probably still useless. Okay, good to know. Um, should I get both the on for a second license board? I don't even know what would put him on this thing. Let's get Libra. It's good to have Libra. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Fran, I was aiming towards Shades of Black. Where is that? There it is. I can't afford it. Gosh. Ah. That's what I call incentivization. I mean, I don't have to give the espers to anyone. I can hold it on to them until, like, the one point where I have to summon Belias, I can hold on to them that long and not give them to anyone. Which may actually be the most practical way to do things. I think I'll do that. I think I'll just hold on to them. Twenty two, can't do a lot with that. Get a shield, I guess. Holding off on the license board thing for a moment. Because I'm going to want to put a bit of thought into that. Who gets what? I don't have to go for it right away. Again, I can put that off indefinitely if I want to. I don't want to put it off indefinitely, I just want to put it off for a little bit. Talk if some thought. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Uh, I'll use that to get back out afterwards. Give me the shiny rock. Oh, look at this one, it's a perfect circle. I, I went to say sphere and then I decided not to, and I'm not sure why, because sphere is definitely the correct word. What's wrong? Your Majesty, we must go. Let me get my shiny rock first. Oh no, it's got a funny end on it. What? Hello, asshat. Yeah, um, a friend from the back on the Final Fantasy wiki who wrote uh, a walkthrough for Final Fantasy XII, she referred to this this apparition of Rassler as an asshat. So that's kind of stuck with me. Vaughn, however, is not seeing Rustler. I don't think. I think Vaughn's seeing Rex. <sighs> if I remember correctly. Correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're talking to a completely fake apparition that's just designed to keep you doing what the gods want you to do, but okay. Spoilers. When did you pick that up?
Dawn Shard. Which I believe is equipable, yep. Yeah. Like the Goddess's Magicite, which was the Dusk Shard. And it reduces MP to zero. Because again, it's a Peeth and Nethersite. A Peeth, a Peeth, a... Did I just say a Peeth, a Nethersite? And I just said Nethersite. Oh my god. A Peeth, a Peeth, a Nethersite. That's, that's what it is, it's a Peeth, a Nethersite. Don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm going with it. Okay. So why did Vostler want to go so badly? I wonder. I mean, just spitballing here, but maybe someone's going to come and try and take the Dawn Shard and he wanted Ash to be out of the way so that she didn't get captured in the process. Just a hunch. But then how would he know that someone's coming to take the Dawn Shard, if that is the case? Unless, of course, Vosler is a bit of a traitor boy. Just, just spitballing. Oh. Hey, Jade, you can't complain. It's right there in the rules. There may be spoilers from games that I've played before. I know you don't care. Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethersite. The Nethersite? Nethersite. That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethersite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> oh, he's a bit of a traitor boy. Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethersite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. Traitor boy. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasco will be restored. Sure. Think on it. Sure, we, we trust you. An entire kingdom for a stone. You must admit, tis more than a fair exchange. And when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your Majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. Heh. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Oh, both here knows that name. Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Rabanasta soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. 
Like, I still don't know how they... Like, how do you get power out of Nethersite? Do you persuade it to release all the mist that it's absorbed? Is that how it works? Because they drain mist. I guess that might be why it's, uh... So explosive when you do it. Because it just all goes at once. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars has the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. You are right there. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? Larser is a good boy. A son of Dalmasca. But I'm not even memeing Larser is a good boy. He is best lad. <gasps> oh dear. Our equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Yeah, that can't Once go badly. Once to the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me. Only results. Oh, you're a terrible scientist. Well, you're not a scientist, that's kind of the point. Friend? Such heat! The mist is burning! 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto nethersite! The count still climbs! Ah, we found it at last. True de-affected Nethersite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. In your hands. What alone does hands. the Emperor make, Vane? What is this? Something's wrong. What is it? <laughs> you stand. <laughs> Hold her down. Oh, good luck with that. She's a miscrazed Viera. Yeah, Viera, in case... I always knew Fran didn't take well to me tie up. <laughs> yeah, in case you forgot, Viera are really beast sensitive. I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> He's obviously going to fight against Ash as well. Why do this, Bash? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. And Franny's under berserk. Ash is my pa <laughs> My party leader is berserk. That's good. That's fine though. She's gonna target, and therefore they're gonna target. Instead of Ash just casually le leveling up on the first kill of the battle. God, I can't even. I can't even move her. I have no control. I love the way that she's still completely civilised when using a bow, though. Like, you'd, you'd think she'd be attacking with her claws, but no, she's still using her bow. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I hope I didn't give the impression that this was a difficult boss fight, because it's really not. Like, in the slightest. I should probably switch into someone who can steal. Okay, he's only got a potion. Don't care. That's fine. I just wanted to know. Uh... 
Huh, I can't set front back to the leader unless I can switch Barsh out, which means I have to wait a minute until he's no longer being targeted by anyone. Oh uh, look, Voss was just going for Barsh regardless of decoy. I'm not even using magic on you, what, what do you think that's going to achieve? And Bosch lands a finishing blow, as I think he should. Well, that would have been quite fun to have Ash do it. Rapidly. It's negative. Impossible. And we General, this is the rate. Right. Report. What are Impossible. They doing down there? What's happened? It's Nethersite. Are you stupid? Oi. This, this ship is powered and stays in the air using magic. Ash, let's let's stick something in the engine that drains magic. All I have done. Small. I've ever thought of Dalmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Hit or people was your too late. People. Gross. I can serve her no more. Yes, because you you're a traitorous gift. She wouldn't want you serving her anymore. Bash does a lot of taking up the charge in this game. Without being specific about the other time he does it. And Geese is dead. I call that an absolute win. Watch this. Watch this. Look at it. Oh. Look at it. Boom! Like hold it. And then we just have like fiery chunks of magic going everywhere. Just wipes out the whole damn flea. This might get a little dicey. Mist. It manifests now. Is that what you call this? Look at that. Ship, but it's fine, we'll pick it back up. <laughs> in fact, it blew up an entire fleet, but it's fine, we'll, we'll just grab it. The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The eighth fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the Yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive to bring the various counter Imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. That time you got off your ass. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. So, you know, keep it on the down low. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with hmm. which to be reckoned. I mean, the name Eighth Fleet implies at least seven other fleets, so, you know. They're not exactly out of the picture.
It's a very interesting architecture in this game. Not that you ever get to look at it properly during gameplay, for the most part, but if and these really show it off. Arcadia in particular. I mean, rubber has got some pretty cool architecture, but Arcadia is really grand. The Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Yeah, well, it's your own judge's fault, so, you know. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lausa will make for a fine emperor. He is best boy. Lars also adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <laughs> Such a happy family. <laughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades. I mean, he's an emperor, but he's not an absolute emperor. There is a senate, it's, you know... Let's, let's be honest, it's a better system than Dalmasca, even if it is stuffed with assholes. I mean, whatever system you have, if it's stuffed with assholes, it's not going to end well. Your uh, arm, elbow thing is clipping through your side there, Ash, you might want to do something about that. Where are we? This looks like Nimrodia. It probably is, actually, because he's... It's where he's from, so, you know. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. Yeah, you weren't you there? Our staff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Yeah, just remind her. Yes. Just casually. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethersite. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed it's to... It's almost like it's in his name. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufacture Nethersite now? 
Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Chart to fight them. How? Damasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethesite, I hope, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died. And the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? <laughs> it's on the armor piercing question. The Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point. No, <sighs> I would say it's closer than Wraith Wars 2. Because to get to Wraith Wars 2, we had to go through the Wester Sand and the Ogre Yenis Sand Sea and the Nam Yenis Sand Sea. To get to the Jahara for the Gareth, we just have to go through Giza Plains and Osmo Plain. It's not as far. Don't we? I like that. Compensation. How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. <laughs> well, Thea, don't be a dick. I'll give it back to you as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean something Dick more move. valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. Come on, I'll fit you better than What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I... Uh... You know, like if Penelo has just walked off and left him. Oof. The Gareth are said to dwell in Kerwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Wadis will be swollen with the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. Let's buy some stuff. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, princess. She's just standing here and no, no bugger around it recognizes her. Like, seriously? There was a massive parade when she got married, guys. Did you did you miss that? <laughs> right, let's sell some stuff. Got a bunch of those. Got a bunch of those. Got a bunch of those, that's a good amount of money. Got tons of these, but they don't sell for a lot. Bone fragments, nice. Firestones, cool. Foul flesh is decent. And a tourist gem. New goods, of course. But I'm thinking I might actually get that now. See, I could have gotten the Reign of Tears, and that would have helped me against Belias, but Belias was easy, so it doesn't matter. Um, and also would have had to have used Balthea for that. You know what? I'm going for it.
I still wish this just auto-sorted everything, because I never care about rearranging them. There's never any reason to care about rearranging them, really. Um, starting to do some more leveling to get these three up. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I just glanced at that and realised that the Archer license board is shaped like a bow. An arrow. Look at it. You've got the bow there, then the arrow. The White Mage is kind of like an angel. The Red Battle Mage is like an S for some reason. But it's, it's like a wonky dollar sign, if anything. That's an odd one. The Knight. I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent. But yeah, the clearest one by far is the archer. That is literally a bow and arrow. Okay. Time for question three. From Kitchen. I can never remember how to pronounce the error names. Friend is easy. Friend's fine. But anyone else? More like your sister. And again, you have to give the dick answer to get the best thing. Unless they've changed it. I mean, I guess maybe you give the dick answer because then she gets a bit rebellious about it. And more motivated to prove you wrong. I think that might be kind of the way it's going. Okay, let's see if my blank's got anything for me. Meh. Cool. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad. And the kill snapper. Kill snapper's a fairly tough one, I think. So that's where I'm aiming over the R. That exit to the Osmond plane. That goes to the Wister Sand, obviously. Yeah, you occasionally get uh, members of the clan join you. I think Bansat's fairly useless. That's kind of the point. Okay, we've got a few things to do here at this point in the game, one of which is actually uh, has to be done at this point in the game. Well, not like right now, but there is a limited window. If you leave it too late, you can't do it. Let's check out the shops. Uh, I don't need to go to the Gambit shop because I got a little um, bit of magic. 
and techniques I should check on. What you got? Anything good? Anything at all that I don't already have? Uh, no. Bye then. Okay. Traveller, let's have it. Again, not what I'm ever likely to use, but it's there, and I'm a completionist. Speaking of completionism, that's a big question with these streams. Um, whether or not I do like all the hunts and stuff on stream. Because I mean that's gonna build up to Yasma and that's that'll just be hours long just that fight. <laughs> like it could take multiple streams just to do that one fight. Um so I'm like, do I just do I just do the game the plot line to completion and just do hunts along the way and leave the really tough ones? that are sort of post-game level to just not do on stream, or do I do everything? And do multiple streams that take hours just for Yasma and the Hellworm and stuff. Big question. Bushab and Magical Madness. Okay, so I need to find some bottles of booze. The nearest one is... Over here. Somewhere. Apparently. No. I mean, there's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 bottles for 14 customers. But where's... Ah, there it is. It is the bottle. <laughs> is that a bottle of Pujab and Madhu in your pocket, or are you? Just happy to see me. So, you can just, um, well, that went well. You can just sell it in the shops, but you don't get, you get like 250 instead of a thousand for it. Okay, there should be one over here. And there should be a customer over here somewhere. For a load of drunken weirdos. There's pretty much always one person near each bottle, so you don't have to like really keep track. Super complicated, like who's done what, which is nice.
there. No, sorry, you're up here. Like now I understand why he always takes it. Uh, yeah, there's one inside the pub. Where is it? Let's check the board while I'm here. Oh, there's quite a few. Rank two. <laughs> there is a creature. Kill it. This is how one summons a hunter, is it not? Good, I will be waiting. I'll be going there anyway, so that's fine. Oh, I remember this one. Yes. Right, uh... Right, where's this bottle? Bottle, bottle, who's got the bottle? There it is. Right there. I'm just gonna nick it from her. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, it's you. I mean, I spent eighteen that. <laughs> I had spent 18,000 on the Forgotten Grimoire, and I'm going to get 14,000 back from this. So it's like, ka-ching. That's, that's most of the money back. Uh, when I said the nearest, the last one's in the aerodrome, but I'll do that on the way out. It's fine. Uh. Yeah, there's another one in this area. Not in, not like in this specific map, but in here. Where is it? There it is, hiding in the corner. Just give it to the children. Well, I mean, yeah. you have another bottle of budget, don't you? Wait, who do I give this to? You. Huh? Hmm. 
Oh. You won't be able to sell her the magic until you've received the reward for the ant lion mark hunt. See page 293, which is miles off. Like, to put this in context, this is in a section that's recommended level 43. So that's a way off yet. I'm going to be holding on to this bottle for a while then. Just a feeling. To remember to come back and do it. Okay, bottle there. I got a customer there. Easy. Mm, bottle. Mm, customer. No. Mm, customer. Mm, customer. There we go. Okay, then the blah 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 And you? Do you like mm, Bougie and Madu? Where did... Oh, you're over there. I really don't think I should sell this to you. Not while you're standing that close to the edge. Who am I kidding? Give me your money. Farewell, my breeze awaits me. That sounds good. I mean, I'm just glad there's a platform down there, so if she does fall off, she at least lands on something. Because... Yeah. Okay, so that one is done, that one's done. Let's do the gambit shop next. I'm actually having to go into a gambit shop. Madness. Vote is their bottle? There. So that date's going well. Okay, done, 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 done. Done, done. I've done all the ones that are out on the streets. I've done the gambit one. Let's do the technic shop.
Station areas. You're our first Hume staff member. Yeah, sure. That's. Pretty sure you're gonna get fired for being drunk on the job. Just so you know. I don't care, I got my money. The gambit's techniques such as leaves the magic shop, the armor shop, the weapon shop, and the aerodrome. Magic, weapon, armor, aerodrome, all of it along the way back. Perfect. So, magic. There's the bubble. It's like you were you were right next to it, dude. There it is. I'm, I'm assuming that Raxus means like my uh, monsters. Yeah, I think it must be. Appreciate a rare vintage of man, and a rare vintage such as appreciate no matter who you have. Now there are some things money can't buy, but I'll give you a thousand gifts for that matter. Sozzled. I'm just working my way through sozzling the population. Just getting them completely pissed. Pissed means drunk. If you if you're talking angry, that's pissed off. A little bit of a Commonwealth vernacular for you there. Now that was sneak because it's in the cupboard. Little old lady. And that's it, that's that's all we get from her. <laughs> she doesn't even fall over. She's the one who holds the look at the best. Go figure. And finally, uh Aerodrome.
And then I just need to remember to come back once I've beaten the outline, which is not going to be for a long time. Oh, hey. Yeah. You know, just in case you were wondering. We don't get the airship. It's conveniently removed. Where's the bottle? There it is. And I have to give it to uh, you. <laughs> Great. Right. Now I'm not going to teleport back to Rebanaster because I'm going to go. That's to Rebanaster. So this one. Can I not? Can't do it from here. Okay, let's go to Rubenesta then. I need to go to, um, Narbonne. And the game will take you to Narbonne as part of the plotline eventually. But if you wait that long, then you can't do it anymore. This is the time limited one I mentioned. Flies to Narbonne. Private cabin. Because I'm not interested in doing anything on the airships at the moment. Come and fly with me, come and fly, let's fly away. Right. How long we go? Little bit of an FMV. We've been to the fortress before, of course, but we were in the dungeons last time. I'm presuming if you don't come here and do the side quests like this early, then you just get this cutscene. It's a kind of day when you're brought here as part of the story. Probably.
I don't think there's any treasure in town, because it's a town. Stonemason question mark. No, it were me. It's <laughs> like no one in this town. Is what they appear to be. It's great. It's hilarious. Okay, that's a real Imperial. I take it back. Some of them are real. Sharp eyed man. Right. I'm going to guess there's nothing new here. No. Okay. Let's activate the gate crystal. So we can get here quickly later. Portentous provisions. Now this side quest is going to cost me 800 gil. But you have here... The Bigs and Wedge of the game. Granted, it's hot, the city rigs are sweat, and I've sand in places sand has no right to be. And I'll never get the stink of chocobo out of my nose. Hmm. Finest chocobos. Speaking of chocobos, hello you rip-off merchant, why can't you be a nice person like your brother? Hi guys, I'm on a chocobo. Look at my chocobo, my chocobo is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit of back history. Yes, yes you will. And obviously by the time the game brings you here, when you actually have to go to the Mosfran High Waste, 
they don't block your way, so you can't do this whole thing. I can go into the Nostrand Highways now. Um, I will probably die horribly if I try and go too far. Although nothing will attack me while I'm on a choker, I don't think. So, there is that. Let's just have a little little bit of a mooch. Hello Elemental. There is of course another Esper in this area. Not one I'm going to fight for a very long time, and it's a completely optional one. Oh, this is blocked off. Can't choke a bow that way. We have Berserk Wolf. We have question mark, question mark, question mark, which means it's another area. Ah, the Esther Sand. Yeah, like, the entire map is all joined together. Seriously. Because, I mean, this connects to here, which connects to there. I'm on this side of the Estesan now. Like, there's not a single place in this game that you can't get to from every single other place in this game. Like, other than unreturnable areas, obviously. Like, I can't get back to the Nalbanda Dungeons ever. But... Of the places that are on the overworld, so to speak, um, they are all completely joined together. It's really actually kind of cool. Because you wouldn't necessarily expect that, given the way the game presents the world. Um, you might expect there to be pieces where you have to go off on some means of getting from one place to the other. But no, you can do it all on foot, all the way from Two of Wraith Wall at the far west to Arcadia at the far east. I'm staying on the Chocobo and doing this because I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> Basically. This is where I find out I can't get across the. Uh, river from here, so I have to go all the way back there with foot. There's no one here. Oh boy, for a big, big regret. Yeah, I should have done the, uh, the the thing I'm gonna do next. I should have done first. Go figure. How bad are the wargans? Eh, no, they're all right. Well, I actually couldn't finish that off. Yeah, these are a bit bitey. Yeah, I'm not too pleased about having to fight too many of these.
Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna, like, go. A Soleil Fang. No idea what that is. Oh my god, just keep running. Oh, I know what pissed off that end type that one time. I forgot. They get annoyed by you just casting magic near them. Even if you don't cast it at them, just doing it near them sets them off. Okay, and where does this go? I'm gonna get lost now. What is this? Oh, it's the worm's nest of the Wester Sand. Sandstorm. I love the fact that Sandstorm messes up the map, that's really kind of cool. I mean, annoying from a gameplay point of view, but as a, like, a detail, it's pretty neat. Okay, so I need to go... <sighs> Back the way I came. Oh boy, that's an aggressive dino. Run. I can hear it coming for me, run! And... Not long before I end the stream. I'm gonna end the stream a little bit early today, but I should stream again tomorrow as as usual, or as as has has been usual while playing on this twelve at any rate. Oh, that's good. Why did it use that? One? Why? why? even cast that on me? Because I don't think the, the birds are aggressive. Weird. Ow. Hi. Are, are, are you just going to sit there? Okay, go! Okay. Yeah, this was all a pretty bad plan. In case that wasn't clear. Uh, yeah, look at the relative complexity of all this here. And this is what I have to get through later in the game. I have to pass through here, up, all the way up this, up there, and out that way. Um. I think that bit in the middle there is where I fight Exodus, but you have to do a bunch of other stuff around the high waste in order to create the path there, I think. Uh, this way is probably the direct enough, yeah.
I really need to stop stopping for Trisha. Okay, but anyway, Gate Crystal, which makes my job a lot easier. And, even better, the place I'm teleporting to is exactly where I want to go. Um, well, nothing. There's no one there. I've just, I've just been there. There's literally no one there. It's right over there. Look, you could, I mean, you could in a sense, you could swim there. We'll go. High convenient timing. Sure. I'm game. Thank you, boy. And suddenly, it's not abandoned. It's a cactus conga line. It's kind of like it's it makes me uncomfortable whenever the games Make the cacti, uh, the cactuars, and in this case, cactoids, which are basically the replacements for cactuars, like have civilization and stuff. Because we just, we just murder them. We, we, we just, we, they're just regular enemies, and we murder them. Troublemaking cactoid with a bounty on it. Where have we heard that before? So, uh, yeah. Oh, 
Hi, sorry I killed you, but you were being a pet. Oh, hello. I'm impressed that it can really go from a flower that's been boiled. Like, the regrowing from the flower, I can kind of accept, but after it's been boiled... Madness. Low moaning. Well, come along then, fake clone dran. Hopefully he's learned his lesson about being an annoying little git. Do the cactus dance! Okay, and then... Oh yeah! That, I saw that tree. The tree I need for the patient side quest in Surveil Blossom Dew. And I saw that tree while I was legging it. So, let's leg it some more. Yeah, yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? I certainly didn't miss you. Just detour around the wild saurian. Please, please, no bite. Please, no bite. Please, please. Okay. Hello, the trees! This is what up, no. That's what I needed. And. Just kill, just kill, just kill them, just kill them. Just kill them, please. Just, just finish him off. <sighs> kill them. Just kill that. Just fra Just shoot it. Oh my god. Tell this area is too advanced for me at this point in the game. Is it obvious? Should be obvious. Now kill this bastard. Hmm. 
Yeah, you better run. And finish it off. Good. Now I can actually like look around this area. Oh, there's another one. How many drops of this do I need? All three. Uh, I cannot reach that from here. This is bad. This is very bad. So, let's have a look. No, stupid elemental. Still part of the Esther Sand. Look at the wrong map. Don't ask it, Esther Sand. That's the Wester Sand. Esther Sand. Hey, are you not? No. You're not going to have them marked on there, huh? That's fun. Oh god, 680 damage, that's a lot. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> I'm screwed. Got them on one side, I got the elemental on the other. Okay, the elemental's gone. Uh, What? How did Fran just die? Okay, okay, okay. What?
She does not have reverse. Oh. Infuse sets HP to the amount of MP, which means he's using it at zero MP and killing her. Isn't that fabulous? Make it, make it, make it. I just want one more drop of that blossom dew. That's all I want. Oh my god, it's not happening. It's not happening. I definitely need to do some level grinding before I can do this. The Worgans are just too goddamn dangerous. Like, way too dangerous. I do need to get all three. So if I just hand over one or two, I don't get the best reward. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for this stream then. Just go and save. Right. Okay, that's it for this one then. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, most likely, tomorrow.